Hi there, it's uh, Lockie from Low Innovations. So we're out at the Milmarian Double S Double A. So what we're hoping to do is uh, show what what does actually do damage to targets, uh, and that uh, the differences between velocities and different weights. And then uh, hopefully that data will then help uh, you to be able to make sure that your targets last a long time on your local range, and and be able to make some decisions when it comes to what's a, a safe distance to shoot at the targets and who won't damage them. Some good footage are coming up, so uh, hopefully, uh, everyone will learn something and um, yeah, enjoy. Hi, it's Lockie from Low Innovations. So uh, hopefully you've just were, watched the, uh, the first uh, section of our video and you've seen some of the impacts that we've done some testing on plate. So all this plate is 12mm uh, Bizaloy 500. Uh, it's the number one choice for, um, for plate for silhouette targets and steel targets in, in Australia. And uh, very, very similar to um, the AR500 which is used in the US. Um, same hardness and um, and obviously it's um, it's around about the same in its uh, tensile strength. So what I've got here is the the 22 um, caliber 90 grain Burgess. So you can see now these were uh, were fired at nine a muzzle velocity of 940 meters a second and have an impact velocity of around 929 meters a second. So we were trying to get to 930. So that's pretty good pretty close to where we want to be. So what you can see is there's, there is some slight cratering. Uh, the measured depth when we measure it accurately is around about uh, half a millimetre. Um, but uh, this is probably acceptable damage on plates if, uh, if you're using them on high powered rifles. So you can see there, so for the 90 grain Berger, if you keep your muzzle velocity um, under 940 metres a second, um, 
it should be pretty safe at most distances and uh, and if you want to um, make sure you don't do any, any damage at all you want to keep your impact velocity well below 900 meters a second Alright, so the next one we've got here is a 30 cal 155 grain Berger hybrids. Alright, so they were fired at um, a muzzle velocity of 840 metres a second and an impact velocity of around about 826 metres a second. So they're actually, um, there's, there's very little damage, there's very, very slight indentation. Uh, when we measure the depth, it comes up to about 0 0.3 of a millimetre um, and this is perfectly acceptable for um, hits on a, on, with centrefire rifle. So you see for that there, if, um, if you impact velocity with your, your 155 grain as you run to that uh, 830 metres a second, uh, that you're going to do minimal damage to your targets. Now here's where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. We've got the 22 cal 50 grain uh, Barnes Varmint Grenades. So these were fired in a velocity step test, so they started at... And now I'll talk about impact velocity here because that's what I've got it measured in. We started at an impact velocity of 711 meters per second. And uh, the, we're going in 50 meter per second intervals all the way up to 1200 meters a second. So you can see at 700 meters a second there's no, no mark at all. Pretty good for um, uh, 760. Uh, once you get up to impact number 4, number 4 is 838 meters a second. We do start to see very little bit of erosion. Five's not too bad as well, and then once you start getting bigger than uh, five, which was uh, 888 meters a second impact velocity, you can see that your erosion starts to get pretty serious, uh, up to where you hit uh, 1200 meters a second, and um, yeah, it's actually quite a large indentation at that velocity. So there for your, um, you can see there once again that. Uh, Impact velocities under that 900 meters a second haven't done too much damage at all. All right, so next we have the uh, 30 caliber 90 grain Hornady XTPs. All right, so they were doing a muzzle velocity of around about um, uh, 980 meters a second and an impact velocity of 930 meters a second. Now these projectiles are a little bit different from the other ones we've been using. They're only a very short projectile and they're quite a, a blunt point. And, uh, and you can see that it's had quite a, quite a different effect on the targets. Um, for, for, a vol for that same velocity, um, the, uh, the actual penetration is, uh, is very, very um, deep and pretty much the, 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 it's caused failure in the plates. So this, this is a classic failure from adiabatic shear, um, and uh, yeah, not good. So what have we learned from this is that it's not necessarily uh, the biggest calibers that will do the damage. It's uh, one velocity and also the length and this projectile style. So just got another example here. So we've just got a cross section here of some of the uh, projectiles we're using for testing. So I'll just run through them. We've got the 90 grain Hornady XTP, 100 grain Hornady Soft Point, uh, both of those in 30 cal. You got your 30 cal 155 grain Berger Hybrid, uh, 30 cal 200 grain uh, uh, Woodley Weldcore, uh, 50 grain Barnes Varmint Grenade in 2.2, uh, 55 grain Spear soft point and uh, 90 grain 0.22 uh, Berger Botar hollow point. Now if you look at the hollow point designs you can see obviously that the, the longer projectiles it, there's quite a big difference in the length between them and the short ones. The, these hollow points you've got this cavity here which uh, which basically will, will help to slow down um, your projectile on impact on a target before it reaches this solid mass. Right, obviously once the bullet's got a solid area you're more likely to get a failure from shear uh, because it's hitting as a blunt object. Now, 
if you're using your target style hollow point projectiles you can uh, safely use impact velocities up to around 900 meters a second on your steel targets if you want to use your short projectiles then you need to have a substantially lower velocity so around about the 750 meters a second is uh, is where these will start to do damage and it will do damage very quickly at that as you get higher than those velocities so um, yeah general rule of thumb for target long target style projectiles under 900 meters a second impact velocity will not do any damage uh, for a short uh, stumpy projectiles especially blunt style uh, you need to keep your velocity down below 750 meters a second so uh, hopefully that um, that helps uh, some some of the myths that are out there about what does damage to targets and um, yeah happy shooting <laughs>